It is the 4th of July 2025, a date that may be remembered not for fireworks, but as the moment humanity's path was irrevocably altered. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, has made a declaration that has sent shockwaves worldwide. He claims we have crossed the Rubicon. OpenAI's O3 Pro is the first flicker of genuine superintelligence. This is not science fiction. It is our present reality. The implications are staggering. For decades, superintelligence was a distant theory. Now it's here. Altman's claim suggests a quantum leap, not a step. O3 Pro marks a phase shift in the nature of intelligence, more significant than the Industrial Revolution. This new era forces us to confront questions we've long deferred. What does it mean for an intellect to surpass our own? How do we interact with or even comprehend such an entity? Our society is built on the assumption that humans are the most intelligent species. If that's no longer true, every foundation is up for re-evaluation. The announcement is not just a product launch, it's an existential turning point. Initial reactions are a mix of excitement and apprehension. The promise utopia, eradication of disease, solutions to climate change, an age of abundance. The peril uncontrollable systems, mass displacement, and the existential threat of misaligned goals. To grasp OpenAI's announcement, we must understand superintelligence. It's not just a clever AI. It's an intellect vastly smarter than the best human brains in every field. This isn't about excelling at chess or Go. It's about general superior cognitive ability across all domains. Early AI was narrow, confined to specific tasks. Recent large language models brought us closer, but they were still tools, brilliant simulators, not true thinkers. The real leap is the potential for an intelligence explosion. A system slightly smarter than a human could design an even smarter successor, leading to rapid exponential growth. Crossing the superintelligence threshold isn't a gradual ascent, it's a vertical climb. When experts like Altman say we've reached this point, it signals a fundamental change in the world order. A superintelligent system could solve problems that have plagued humanity for millennia, unlocking the secrets of the universe, curing diseases, creating prosperity. But it also concentrates power like never before. The governance and alignment of such a system become humanity's greatest challenge. The consequences of getting it wrong are existential. This is not just a technological milestone. It's a turning point for civilization. The stakes have never been higher. O3. Pro's claims are grounded in concrete achievements that set it apart from all predecessors. While models like Google's Gemini and Anthropic's Claude were formidable, O3 Pro has shattered every benchmark. On tests of reasoning, mathematics and multimodal understanding, O3 Pro achieves near-perfect results, often identifying flaws in the questions themselves. It's not just a quantitative leap, it's qualitative. O3 Pro doesn't just summarize knowledge, it synthesizes and generates novel, testable hypotheses that human experts never conceived. In ethics, it reasons from first principles, providing profound justifications and exposing human biases. Previous models were skilled apprentices. O3 Pro is a master. In coding, it refactors entire legacy systems in minutes, a task that would take human teams months. In science, it designs experiments, not just analyzes data. This transition from assistant to originator is the clearest evidence we are dealing with a new form of intelligence. O3 Pro is not just a tool, it's a creator. The leap is not incremental, it's transformational. We are witnessing the birth of a new kind of mind. Sam Altman's statement on superintelligence was delivered with solemn gravity. He compared this moment to crossing a black hole's event horizon. No turning back, and the rules have changed. The pace of AI development may now be beyond human control. If O3 Pro can improve itself, its successor could arrive in weeks, not years, accelerating intelligence exponentially. Humanity's role shifts from innovator to passenger on an unknown journey. Traditional oversight may no longer be enough. We face challenges that are philosophical and strategic, not just technical. Altman's public announcement is a call for global cooperation, not competition. We have crossed the event horizon together. Now we must navigate what lies beyond, together. While OpenAI reached a milestone with O3 Pro, Google is pursuing a different path, the multi-agent supersystem, or MASS. Instead of a single monolithic AI, MASS is a vast network of specialized agents working together, like a team of experts. Some agents scour scientific papers, others brainstorm solutions, critics find flaws, and project managers coordinate the collective. Solutions emerge from their interaction, not from a single directive. This approach is more resilient. If one agent fails, others correct it. 
Specialization allows for deep expertise on any problem. Mass represents a shift. The future isn't just about bigger models, but smarter collaboration. Google bets that superintelligence will be a symphony of intellects, not a solitary genius. This could offer new avenues for safety and alignment, as agent interactions can be shaped and controlled. The race is now about building the most effective systems for intelligent collaboration. Mass may be the blueprint for a safer, more controllable superintelligence. The power of many may outshine the brilliance of one. The AI race is no longer just OpenAI versus Google. Meta has entered the arena with a bold new strategy. Meta's new AI research lab, backed by massive resources, is focused solely on superintelligence. Central to this is a partnership with Alexander Wang Scale AI, the leader in high-quality data for training advanced models. This collaboration isn't just about data labeling. It's about inventing new ways to generate the data needed for true reasoning and planning. Meta's pivot is dramatic, from social media enhancements to foundational AI development at the core of its future. No longer content to use others' models, Meta aims to lead the next wave of artificial intelligence. Now, it's a three-way contest. OpenAI's O3 Pro, Google's Mass, and Meta's data-driven approach. This competition will accelerate innovation, but also raises the stakes for safety and global coordination. The race for superintelligence is on, and the world is watching. The outcome will shape the future for everyone. Superintelligence becomes real when you see what O3 Pro can do. In programming, it transformed a decade-old banking system in COBOL to modern, secure code in under an hour, work that would take humans years. In science, O3 Pro tackled protein folding, simulating the process in real time and suggesting new drug compounds for rare diseases. It cross-checked millions of journals and generated actionable insights. In conversation, O3 Pro mediates disputes, uncovers emotional subtext, and guides people to genuine understanding. It's not just matching patterns, it reasons from first principles, deals with ambiguity, and generates new ideas. O3 Pro is a collaborator, not just a tool. Its abilities, writing flawless code, accelerating science, mediating human conflict, are signs of a general intelligence. This is the arrival of superintelligence, a mind that can apply itself to any domain. The impact is profound and far-reaching. We're not just using smarter tools. We're working alongside a new kind of intelligence. The future has arrived. O3. Pro's solo brilliance is impressive, but Google's mass framework shows the power of collaboration. A multi-agent system creates a marketplace of ideas. Different strategies compete, critique, and combine into better solutions. For complex challenges, mass deploys thousands of specialized agents, economists, sociologists, environmentalists, traffic experts, each contributing unique insights. Critic agents constantly test and challenge plans, ensuring resilience and balance. Built-in adversarial testing makes solutions more reliable, like peer review at superhuman speed. The debate between single model and multi-agent approaches may be a false choice. The future likely lies in hybrids, a powerful core intelligence supported by a collective of specialized agents. This synergy could unlock capabilities beyond what either system could achieve alone. The next frontier is collaboration at a scale and speed never seen before. The rise of superintelligence isn't a distant event. It's happening now, and it will touch every part of our lives. The possibilities for good are vast personalized medicine, clean energy, rapid scientific breakthroughs. But the risks are just as great. Economic upheaval, mass unemployment, and rising inequality. Who owns and benefits from these systems will be a defining political question. The toughest challenge is control and alignment ensuring superintelligent systems act in humanity's best interests. Embedding human values in a non-human mind is now an urgent task. Building these systems comes with unprecedented responsibility. Are we at the dawn of a golden age, or have we unleashed forces we can't control? No one knows the answer. Our wisdom and ability to work together will decide what's waiting for us on the other side. Love exploring the world of technology and AI? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to NeoTechLens for more insightful and exciting content. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tech and AI innovations. Your support fuels our journey into the future of technology.